Hi guys, Ronnie Will. And Wandering Shell. She's not interested in, in doing her own job, so I'm doing it for her. I'm driving! Today we're going to Animal Kingdom. It's been almost, what, six months since it's we've been last been there. Uh, um, last least, least favorite park. No, yeah, less than six months, because mom and we took my mom one time yeah anyway she's still going on about being crazy um yeah it's uh, honestly our least favorite park um but i kind of was wondering something and i know a lot of guests are wondering the same thing uh we're wondering if we could get through all if, the rides in one day how long if we want to try to get onto every ride so that includes the following. That includes Flight of Passage, the second River Avatar ride. ride, because I don't really care about it or know what it's called. It's like River of Light or something. Uh, yeah. Or no, that's the afternoon show that doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. Everest, Dinosaur, um, the Safari. I think right now the uh, River Rapids is closed. Because of weather. Well, weather and also because they're refurbishing it. Um, oh, and we also want to try to do the shows. So the two shows that are running currently, as of posting this video and shooting this video, will be the bird show. And it's tough to be a bug, which I still do not always count as a show, since it doesn't use live actors. <laughs> no, they use live bugs. Hey! This is the type of fun you have to look forward to. <laughs> so we're going to basically be recording when start and end times. We'll let you know when we get there. Uh, you know, okay, it's this time we've waited this long for it, that type of stuff. Um, I would like to uh, specify we are going on a Thursday, and it's fairly quiet this week at the parks. I mean, they're still busy. I mean, it's Disney, it's never not busy, but um, it's quieter than it has been the last week, week and a half. Oh yeah, because last week or so was Valentine's Day and President's Day, so a lot of northern schools. Val Valentine's Day, President's Day, uh, mid-winter break. break for the north, and <laughs> just for general lack of going to school and doing work. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically the plan today. All right guys, so we're getting into Animal Kingdom. It's slow. It's super slow. Also, there's an awkward- No! <laughs> Michelle's gonna have to edit it. this. <laughs> there's an awkward thing there. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're just about there. It's a little early, but they should be letting us in, although we got on the longest fucking line. I didn't mean to. Michelle did it on purpose. She doesn't want to be here. You don't want to be here either. We really don't. <laughs> Animal Kingdom is not the best park. But, uh, we're doing it for you guys. And by you guys, I mean we're just kind of doing trying to ourselves. find something to do. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I love looking at the people that have stickers and stuff on their cars. But, like, I don't... We just checked wait times. It's literally five minutes after eight, and the wait for and the, Pandora the, Avid, stuff. the Pandora stuff is over an hour. For well, it's seventy minutes for flight of, flight of passage. passage. Half an hour for the river. Half hour for the river. Um, I think maybe we'll hit up a couple of the other rides first. And Hopefully save the down. other two, those two for last. Yeah. Do you want to slow down a bit? Yes. A bit? Okay. So. I hate that we have to run every time. 
Michelle hates that I can walk faster than her. What about the tree? Tree. Big tree. I don't know, it's still, it kind of looks like a giant uh, oil r rigger to me. Tree. Oil. Tree. Oil. Tree. Exactly. Right. I spy something, uh, a vertical log. Tree. Yeah. Okay. I spy Tree. some. Oh. Okay, my turn. Tree. No, I got. Oh, it counts. I didn't even spy anything. It counts. Okay. Tree. Actually, the most ironic thing because it is. It's actually a. Uh, oil tanker. Oil tanker. One of the North Sea oil tank type things. Anyway. So we're gonna skip Pandora for right now because that's where everybody's heading. As you can see, that there's nobody on this side. We're gonna <laughs> start with Everest. Go on that. Morning. Hello. We're going to start with Everest and then maybe Dinosaur? Maybe. Since it's right next door. Yeah. yeah, Everest, Dino. And then maybe we'll circle back by that time. It should die down. A it should bit. die down a bit or be Even unbearable. Busy. We'll figure it out when we get there. So, if nothing else, Animal Kingdom, as much as it's like the worst put together park it is probably the prettiest and quietest park you're going to find yes it's the weird combination oh is that new that they're putting the tree of life on the it's uh been there for since it's opened has it yes. i've never seen those before maybe they repainted them to be brighter maybe because i if anything i remember them being green Again, don't really care about this park, so. Oh, there's the old Mickey and Minnie yeah. meet and greet. Oh, I wonder if they do eight tier two. Oh no, they do the boats. They do the boats. Which means. There goes one now. <laughs> At least I think there is. Uh, basically, what that means is we don't have to worry about being stuck for 20 minutes while a parade by. walks by. No, so you get stuck on the bridge just trying to go by. Yeah, just try not to be on the bridge while the boats are coming through. Oh, there's there's one now. Oh, wait, no, that's only ducks. Quack. Oh, wait, maybe that's Donald and his family. Ha 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 we're in the Asia. I wanted to say Africa, the Asia section. I forget back that way. Yes, I know. So, okay. I'm wondering if we're going to see any of the animals e either. It's going to be kind of cool out today. So, possibly a lot of the animals are going to be kind of inside though. There's one up there, something. Is he? Oh, yeah, he's way all the way up, up top. Champions. <laughs> Some champions. Champions. Yeah. Champions. I got what is this? The green, green tea. Green tea latte. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Ice, coffee. Not coffee. Not yeah. coffee. And then we got a giant donut. <laughs> um, Emphasis on donut. It's also very quiet around here, so it's nice. Now's the best time to eat. Watch Michelle eat. Why? Well, I don't know what you eat. Look at you go. Yum yum yum. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Be like the animals, don't do anything while the camera's on you. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so this is my drink. The love latte something or other. And that's the green tea with jasmine. It's, yeah, green jasmine, black tea, something or other. Yeah. It's not bad. Although the donut, it's like very sweet, so having this is like it Not tastes bad. bitter. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So first ride. First ride. It is now eight twenty-eight. According to the thing, this is five minutes. We'll see. We're not going to sh shoot on the rides because 
we don't have a safety strap on here, but uh, I'm sure if you really want to watch the rides, you can literally see people, tons and tons of videos of people risking their cameras. Risking their lives. Risking their cameras. So. I, of course, miss you doing your skip, but I catch you doing the trip. <laughs> oh, now I know where the five minutes are. Oh, yeah, it's always... If something's posting about five minutes, you can estimate even 15. It's mostly the walk through the exhibit. And that's the one thing that I kind of find interesting with Disney huh. is... They really do a good job, uh, sometimes anyway, of... That's interesting. It's a fake wall so it can rotate. Ooh, Michelle's favorite, Yeti Hunter. So, yeah, five minutes is probably a high estimate. <laughs> Yep. And Michelle, give us a time check. 8.30. So, less than five minutes. All right. Thanks. Can you stop rocking, please? <laughs> it was a little bumpier than, I, than we usually are used to. Oh, stop rocking the boat. I want to get off. This is why you don't eat a heavy meal before going on rides. Uh -huh. Come on. One day at Disney. Uh. Anyway. Alright. And that took us five minutes. It <laughs> the was... ride itself was five minutes. <laughs> so that's good. So one down. Many to go. Not too many to go, actually. We're going over to... Dinosaur. Dinos Dino Land USA for the Aladar Dinosaur Rescue. Ride. I call it Aladar Rescue because that's really all they want you to do is rescue a, a dinosaur. Name Aladar. From extinction. Yep. I haven't been on that ride actually in a while. Really? Well, yeah, the last because we didn't go we didn't go with your mom and Don. Because they don't do rides. We didn't go the last couple of times. We haven't gone huh. on this one. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this ride, but we'll go on and just go on it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I like it because it's it's dinosaurs, but I'm not that excited about you know the ride. <laughs> oh, also, <laughs> we, so on on Everest. <laughs> Apparently Disco Yeti needed a nap today. <laughs> His he lighting was discoing. <laughs> discoing. He barely had any lights on him. Usually they have a front light. They didn't yeah. have a he was only backlit. Yeah. That's what it was. That's why we look to see a certain amount of them. Yeah. I barely, I didn't even see his arm. You said you saw his arm. I kind of saw like a claw sticking out, <laughs> but that was because of the light coming through the tunnel. Uh, you can see it. See, I was too busy doing this the whole time with my mask <laughs> because it's, I think, you know what it is? Huh. I just realized I trimmed my beard back the other day. Oh. And the elastic is based on your beard. Yeah, it's stretched out. Oh. So it was comfortable for my beard, but now it's very loose on my face. Yeah, because I was going to say, mine stayed really well. So, oh. either that or my face shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, Dino Country USA. Stop. I, I don't even know if we've talked about this area before. A long time ago, but I don't think we ever recorded it. So this area is set up to be a carnival. Because of Chester and Hester's. So Chester and Hester came out to, this is supposed to be like Midwest America. Okay. And so they came out here looking for dinosaur bones. 
and they decided to set up this whole attraction. Oh God! <laughs> Na name that group. I don't know. You don't know who this is? I'm tired. <laughs> this is. Uh, they might be giants. Okay. I've got to talk over this because you're going to get copyright, and if you don't, la 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 la. Oh, they they here to get their supplementary magazine. Oh, that's interesting. But only on certain days. Weird. Available Monday through Friday. Park open to close on the following dates. Something cool, you can see that this looks like actual pavement, like blacktop, but it's not, it's not blacktop. It's actually cement painted black. And that's because blacktop would melt in the Florida sun. And your shoes will stick. Yeah, kind of be like uh, opening day for magic, uh, for Disneyland. So. I am. Oh, I'll be singing the Saga song. <laughs> I like these guys. I know. Unfortunately, the trail is closed. You can see a couple of them. The dogs are all in its pen. Yeah. Um, oh, here comes the T Rex that was, I think, 97% complete. Or more, <laughs> I think. Or something like that. I'm not going to regale you with the missing uh <laughs> where's the last piece the last couple of pieces because michelle told me what one of the tour guides told her <laughs> and you don't want to know where it's missing uh, so yeah doesn't really 90 percent 90 percent so where's the other 10 percent well sue uh, is a girl that doesn't actually add anything to it. <laughs> but, all right. All right, so according to the thing. This is only a five minute wait five as well. Minutes. Yes. And it is 8.41. 8.41. We'll see when we get it to the ride itself. There's Aladar, the Allosaurus. Is he a Guanodon? A Guanodon, sorry. Alas I always get that confused because his name is Aladar. Alright, again, I this is the one thing I do like about Animal Kingdom is how much museum aspect there is. Kind of reminds me of going back to the uh Oh, uh, Museum of Natural History. In New York City. Yeah. It does make me feel like that too. Mm -hmm. Time for us. Remember friends, any of those I know are going to pop you in front of you. And please hope it must be worn out all the time. Thank you. Alright guys, so we just got out. It is uh, 8.54. Yes. And it's about a five minute ride, right? Yeah. So in reality we only it was really only maybe about five minutes online. Yeah. Uh, that's probably together. That's probably the closest to actual time that I've ever seen this ride for. Yeah. Or any ride for, to be honest. Also, this ride is very dark. Yeah. It's not like scary, like, it's like dark. I mean, it's it's dark. You don't want little kids going on this one. <laughs> but, um, oh. Run away, little one. But, um, it's also very hard to see anything. Like, the I guy really... was like yelling, like, oh, look at this. I'm like, where, what? I see darkness. I really feel like they turn, they don't have all the lights operating right now. I don't know why. I don't know either. But that's two rides now that are inside dark ride areas that are very hard to see anything. Yeah. All right, so I just looked at the times. The um, flight of passage is down to 50 minutes. And the, um, the river one that they have is up to 60. Yeah. 
So we're gonna start heading over that way. With luck, either the times will Be get lower or best case scenario, they stay the same. <laughs> So let's head over to go that way. Do we have to go that way? I thought we have to go that way. That, yeah, that way. Oh, okay. I thought you pointed that way. Um, so we're going to skip the shows. We'll probably do the shows last. Just because we can. And they're not squirrel. too big. Squirrel. Squirrel. Bye, squirrel. Bye, squirrel. That is weird <laughs> that the squirrel is just like, I'm going to sit here. You want to film me? Film me. <laughs> No, it's like normal animals. Oh, there's a camera on me? Stop. <laughs> oh, they have something special for Raya, the last dragon. I wouldn't want to eat that. It's so cute. I know, right? It's like, oh. Also, I, I don't want to eat <laughs> chocolate. I'm not a big sweets fan, you guys know. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Well, they can do stuff like this now that uh, the, the stage, stage shows aren't being used. So we know that- This is sand, I forgot they were talking about this. This is all sand? This is all sand. Really? Yeah, I remember talking about it. No. Yeah, that's all sand, look. That's nuts. So if we get a good rainstorm, this is gone. Well, that's why it's playing on the overturn. <laughs> yeah, but it usually rains sideways down here. <laughs> But yeah, that's all made from sand. All sculpted from sand. They had to have put some type of like concrete or something on it. Material like glue or something yeah. to keep it. Because again, as soon as it rains, that then, thing would disintegrate. I know. But um, yeah, like, like, I remember reading about it. Is that say one minute for tough to be a bug? Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> the lighting, the way the sun was hitting it, it looked like it only said one minute. Oh. Nothing's less than five minutes. Yeah. All right, so we're going. So since we <laughs> want to try and get the, Pandora the stuff. two longest waits of the day, yeah. if we get it all done, then the rest of the day is no problem. Yeah. Then the only other thing that might have a long wait is a safari. Is safari. Oh, we're gonna get people <laughs> but we'll see. Well, here's the fun long wait. This is when we're gonna look at our watch and just cry. <laughs> This is when we start using our apps and everything else. <laughs> Again, if it's really only a 50 minute wait though, that's not terrible. I mean, we waited longer on it. Yeah, when we when, first moved down here. Yeah. What was it? Uh, three hours. Three hours. Even though the sign said 60 minutes, the line itself was three hours. So, just a little different. <laughs> just a little. So. But as you can see, everything is kind of coming to life now. Everybody's like actually moving around, doing their stuff. Also, oh no, this is, peppermint. there's the end of the line. That is for the river one, I think. I don't think so. River okay. journey. Okay. But then where's the other one? Uh, probably down through Africa. We should have probably just cut through Africa. It would have been shorter. Probably. <laughs> oh, well. All right. No. But again, they're posting this at 60 minutes. So. And everybody's supposed to be six feet apart. Some more, some less. <sighs> so, see, according to, this is why you need the My Disney Experience app. Yeah. Shameless plug. <laughs> it does give you the wait times and the distance you're you're at. So, and if you're lost, it actually it actually works through your GPS to help you find your way. So, again, this is like some of the nicest scenery you'll find in Disney. Which, which is sad that it's kind of, it feels wasted here, you know? Yeah. Like, it's a nice park, but it just feels wasted. This is the worst ever. <laughs> Why is there so many hills? Well, that's because it's Disney. Oh. It's supposed to be one with the natures. Oh, you know they built hills on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, the most ironic part is we're now in the area that would have the most like man-made structures. Yeah. Like the floating rocks. <laughs> yeah. So. I'm gonna ask him where. <sighs> okay. We'll catch up with you guys once we find the end of the line. All right, so what time is it? It is, I don't know, my <laughs> watch, uh, 9.05. 9.05, all right. Uh, so according to this, it's about a 50 minute wait. Once we get to something interesting, guys, we'll show you what's going on. And you just get bugs everywhere. But right now, yeah, all you have is the bug sound effects and everybody waiting. All right, so it said 50 minutes. Right. It is now 9.12. It's been about, what, 15? 15 minutes or so for us on, to get to here, which is not that bad, but it's this part. It's trying to guess where the next line is. <laughs> this is well, the worst part. It doesn't help that <laughs> The group in front of us is massive. Yeah, I know. So they, they separated off themselves. Off three but look at that. Pandora. Look at that. Pandora. Okay. Okay. Look at that. I'm playing Pokemon. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> you, know what was, you know what's funny? That wasn't even intended. I, had, <laughs> I mean, obviously, I had no idea that's what I was getting. <laughs> You're like, ooh, hello. Too funny. All right. <laughs> Even here, you get random <laughs> surprises. Yeah. So here's section two. This the most section of the section one. Section two. We were just talking, guys, and we realized that as much as I not nice, I thought that was a, a animatronic head. Oh. <laughs> wow. Anyway.
<laughs> and all it's doing is just like showing the sound yeah, to like very basic. Kind of all right guys we're near the end of the line it is 934 933 so, so less than half an about half an hour about half an hour which the, is way less than they're posting right yes, now. Yes, which is a good thing. So don't always assume. Always try. So we'll see you afterwards. All right, guys. So just got off of Avatar. It's flight of passage. Flight of passage. It's okay. It was I, I so this is this is only the second time I've I've ridden it. Yeah. It definitely, and I'm not one to get motion sick, but that actually bothered my stomach a did little bit. Did it really? Yeah. Oh. Well, it bothered my head a little when we did like a loop. And I'm like, oh, nope. I mean, that didn't help, but I think it's just, it's such a tight ride to begin oh, with. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they have the thing like up your back and, oh, yeah. my lower your, back is Yours happy. almost didn't unlock. And yeah. my, mine, I, I was surprised this time they didn't, like, last time I I rode this, they were having problems with my legs because my legs are so long. But this this time, I think they just kind of didn't care. <laughs> they were just like, just go. <laughs> well, she had to adjust mine, my backing for this one. Yeah, I mean, is it really? I think it's worth the amount of time we waited for it. Yeah, well, it is now 9:50. 9:50. So that's a 10-minute ride, almost 15 minutes. Even um, the pre-show, it wasn't that long of a pre-show. No. The so, ride itself was pretty long. So it's not a bad ride. I no. just, I still don't think it's... It's not worth the long wait. It's not worth more than a 30 minute wait. Yes. And I think we went 40 minutes actually because my watch actually showed us how long we were walking. Yeah, so we got online according to Michelle's watch at... 8:53, and we, and we ended our wait at eight, at nine. nine what was it? 9:33. 9:20 or something. No. Yeah, 9:33. 9:33. So, yeah, that's about a little over half an hour. Yeah. About 40 minutes. 40 minute wait. Wasn't bad. It's, it's according to the thing you said 50. So yeah. for it saying. I mean, 40? if you include our. Our ride, it was about 50 minutes, yeah. a little over. True. So, but we've got four more ro four more things to do here today. And, and we're, we're, done. we're almost done with the entire the park. Ride. And it's not even noon. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right. uh, we do have to cut through the gift shop. Yes. I have no problems about that. Well, I think gift shopping will be later. It's a trap. All right, so somebody fell in love with a pair of ears and she had to add them to her outfit. But look how cute! Yeah. Good thing you don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. Oh, where's the bathroom? Over on the left. Also, they have all their breakfast stuff still. I'm surprised. I mean, it's only 10 o'clock. I know, but no, I'm surprised because I, I had heard that this is closed right now. Oh. Well, there's the end of the line for, for it. Yeah, I don't need that. I just want to go to the bathroom. Same here. <laughs> but she ended up getting herself ears, even though we were saying we were going to wait. They were so cute, I couldn't read it. So, was your... Was the restroom in there themed at all? No. Okay. Not in the least. I was going to say, usually... I'm I mean, Dis Disney it. usually themes them really well. This one is just... Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> And I know they redid this area. This used to be Camp Mi Mini Mickey area. Yeah. But like the least they could do is retheme it still. Yeah. To fit the Avatar area. Well, they did. They put blue uh, doors. <laughs> blue doors. Blue doors. <laughs> it's as if you're going to a different world <laughs> on a different world. Wait. Alright, now we just have to wait for uh, traffic. Yeah, I'm going to check the wait time. Okay, I'm just going to stare. You're stare, look at the cute new ears. Yes, you look cute with the ears. This is ridiculous. So here's the end of the line. Hi. And we just go 
and make a U-turn, and the, this is crazy. Thank you. Back down that way. Face coverings must Con Considering this ride, most nine times out of ten, most people hate this ride. So this is a five-minute ride. You literally go on the boat, you see your Navi, you get off the boat. I've never seen this ride this long. Have a line longer than flight of passage. We could do flight of flight of passage another time before. We get on this ride. That's hysterical. This is this is terrible. I mean, it's terrible, but it, it's also funny as hell. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna. Oh, I guess I should have watched start the time. So it's, 10 3 It's ten oh three. So according to the sign, according to the thing, it's going to be minutes. eighty-five minute wait. So we'll see. And now for something completely different. shut down to do the cleaning. Yeah. All right, so we finally made it to load. the load area and it is 11 o'clock. So about an hour? About an, yeah, about an hour. Actually, exactly. You too. Two? Yeah, no worries. All right, guys, so we finally finished. It is now 11.15 exact. We, and we, we started just, at the line at nine. Uh, it was ten o'clock. No, I thought it was like nine o four. No, it was oh. ten. It was ten o three. Okay, so we start. We started the line at ten o three. It is now eleven fifteen. So, so that was a little over an hour. Yeah. Still not the eighty minutes that they keep claiming it is. No, but wait, which way we go? That's blocked uh, off. This way, I guess. I know. guess. All right, so now we're gonna head over to Africa and go on the safari. Yeah, we were debating if we wanted to try and do the birds or Africa, but I don't think we'll have enough time to get to the bird show. From here anyway. From here because we have to pass through Asia, or, or we have to go through Africa and then halfway through Asia. Yes. So we're gonna go to Africa on the safari and on the way, we're probably going to pick up snacks. We are going on the safari. What? Uh, anyway, we'll see, see you soon. See the lion from the Ferrari. Yes, may I help you? We'll see you soon. It's safari time. Oh, because it's frozen solid. Mm. <laughs> so guys, we got chicken a break to t uh, have a snack. And then we'll go on the safari. And I, got we'll... my, I got my safari safari. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys for the safari. <laughs> It is 11.35. Here's the start of the safari ride, which starts at the Lion King show. And for some reason, it's still only saying it's a 45 minutes. So this better be like the world's fastest queue line. Fastest, because we're not even close to the safari. No, we're not. So that's why I'm like, where, how, what? So. This uh, is probably the only ride that will actually show you the ride. because Probably. It's fun. Because we are going on a safari. You stop. Look, this one's growing a plant out of it. <laughs> I couldn't see you walk right in front of the camera. We'll see it. Do you still walk in front of it? It's terrible like camera work. All right, we made it to the entrance of the ride itself, and it says 45 minutes. It is now 11:50. All right. How long have we been on this? Um. I can't remember. All of a sudden. I'm trying to remember. It was like 11:30. No, it was 11:15. 
Right, so it's now 11.50. So oh, it was 11.15 when we stopped for snacks. Yeah, it was... I don't remember, guys. I don't know. It'll be on the video. Um, so... We're almost there, I guess. Alright, so we made it. time. So, we actually estimated 12.15. It is now 12.07. Can I take Grail 2? Grail 2? Yep. How many in the next party? Oh man, I'm small. Oh. There's a Michelle in front of me. <laughs> I didn't see her down there. Hey. hey I'm in the Bay Safari Guide today. Welcome to Kilimanjaro Safaris here on the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. My name is Tiffany. I'm going to be your safari guide. Just a few quick safety reminders before we head out onto the reserve. You are required to keep those face coverings on over your nose and mouth through the entire expedition. Please keep all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the truck at all times. Please remain seated, even if we're stopped, and hang on to any of those personal items. Can't get rather bumpy out there. Also, keep your cameras out and ready. The warden has us on a strict time schedule, and the animals really won't stop for us, so keep them out. Now, it looks like we are going to start our journey off here in the Little Atiri Forest. Creatures that live on the Atiri Forest do tend to use a camouflage hide, so keep your eyes out for them. Over on the right hand side there, you're going to see a, an okapi. A lot of people think that the okapi is related to the zebra because of the stripes that they have on their legs. However, they're actually more closely related to the giraffe. They have a long prehensile tongue that allows them to reach out and grab Come for on. leaves. And the okapis uh, also have back. a scent gland in their feet. Uh, so whenever they walk across a forest floor, they'll leave their scent for other okapis to come and find them, as well as to mark their territory. Can me up over here on the right hand side? Uh, you're going to see a bongo. Now bongos are the go known as the ghosts of the forest. This is because they're very rarely seen. They have horns that slant slightly backwards to help them dive in a thick underbrush and escape from the predators. Over here on the left hand side, you're going to get a pretty view of a black rhino. And the black rhino can weigh about 3,000 pounds. And they have a horn on top of the head. They won't about this right, guys. Which is the same thing that our hair and fingernails are made out of. Black rhinos are usually solitary, so they live off on their own. Mm. Maybe if you're on the right hand side, you'll see a right few there. more of the bongos at the very top of the hill over there. He looked like he was watching the back of his Yes, yes. Over here on the left hand side as well, there's a few more bongos, as well as a lighter color creature, that's the greater kundu. And the greater kundu is very shy. You can tell the difference between male and female, it's usually males have more into the females do not. Also on the left hand side as well, and there's a couple of the saddle built storks. Now saddle built storks can grow to be up to 5 feet tall, and they have a wingspan of about 7 to 9 feet, which is about the width of the canopy above you. Looks like we're going to be heading out of the Little Atiri Forest and on towards the Safri River Basin. Now creatures that live on the Safri River Basin do tend to live just below the waterline. So keep your eye out for on the water. Oh my gosh. Over on the right hand side here, do you see a couple of ripples in the water? Keep your eye out for now hippos. Now now hippos do tend to spend most of their time under the water. They can hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time. And looks like we have a few now have us here on the left hand side. Now a group of two or more hippos is called a bloat. And they can weigh up to around 3,000 pounds. Also on the left hand side there you'll notice a couple oh, okay. of the saddle boat, sorry, the um, pinkback pelicans. Pinkback pelicans are named after the color that their skin turns during mating season. Hi friends, you do have to keep your face coverings on over your nose and mouth through the entire expedition. You have to keep those face coverings on, please. You have to keep them on over your nose and mouth. Thank you. And keep your eye out for more Nile hippos. Could be all along the bottom of the river there. Even though they spend so much time under the water, they don't really swim. Just run or walk along the bottom. If we're here on the left hand side, and then it's a couple of the Nile crocodiles. Now crocodiles can grow to be up to 16 feet 
length. So they're as long as a giraffe is tall. They use the water and the sunlight to help control their body temperature and they can also release heat for their teeth. So if you see them out on the bank with their mouth open, they're actually going to stay in the water. When now crocodiles have eggs, they'll roll them around on the ground or in their mouths to help encourage them to hatch. Now it looks like we are going to be heading out of the Safi River Basin and on towards the savanna. Creatures that live on the savanna do tend to rely on the speed of agility in order to protect boys. themselves. So the keep your eye is almost on dead here, but we'll record as long as possible. Walking around. Great as well. Coming up over here on the right hand side, you're going to see a tree that kind of looks like it's upside down, but it's actually not. It's a baobab tree. Baobab trees are leafless for nine months out of the year. This helps them retain water and survive in long periods of drought. I see giraffes coming. I know. Now, all of the creatures that live on the savanna will work together to help maintain their landscape. The zebras will trim the grass, the giraffes will trim the trees, and the elephants will knock over those trees and allow for new plant life to grow there. This just helps them maintain the ecosystem in which they live in. Coming up over here on the right hand side as we come down the hill is a couple of the Maasai giraffes. I feel like we might get a closer view as we continue around. Now, they are herd animals, so they're definitely going to be sprinkled all throughout the savanna. They're the tallest animals in the world. They can grow to be up to 20 feet tall. Wow. And they're named after the irregular spot patterns that they have on their skin. Once again, we're going to get a little bit of a better view as we continue around. If we go a little bit closer to the road on that side. Now, as we look across the savanna here as well, uh, just keep in mind that all the animals do tend to migrate and move around. So keep your eye out for them. Once again, friends, your face cover, you are required to keep your face coverings on over your nose and mouth through the entire expedition. We can't keep taking them off. Thank you. Here on the left hand side, you see a couple of the painted dogs, they're African wild dogs. And the painted dogs are the most successful predators out in the wild. They have about a 90% success rate. This is because they will chase their prey down to the point of exhaustion, and that's what makes them so very successful. They usually live in packs of about 5 to 15 in each pack, and they have an alpha male as the leader of their group. Wherever he goes, the others will pretty much follow. Coming up here on the left hand side, do you see a couple of the sable antelopes kind of tucked all going to that back brush there. Sable antelopes have long horns that curve towards their back to help them protect themselves from predators who might break from above. They're also a symbol for the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Also, you're going to see a few of the gray creatures. Those are the white bearded wildebeest. The white bearded wildebeest are part of the Great Migration across Africa. They'll migrate with numbers up to 1.5 million at a time. The little creature right here on the left hand side is a springbok. Swim back to jump up to eight feet in there. One stand still. And over on the left hand side as well, you can notice a couple of the heart and mountain zebras. Now, a lot of people ask, are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Well, the answer lies within their muzzle. They are black with white stripes. When they're born, they'll actually memorize their mother's stripe patterns, and that's how they'll recognize each other. And a group of two or more zebras is called a dazzle. So you usually have a dazzle over on the right hand side. A dazzle zebra here as well. These are the Hartman Mountain Zebras. They have the word mountain in their name because they uh, most live in mountainous areas. They have a smaller hoof that allows them to be able to climb up steep hillsides as well as stand on smaller ledges. Can you remember here on the right hand side is a better view of the Maasai giraffes. Now giraffes spend most of their time eating, so their tongue is actually a purplish color. This allows their tongue to not get sunburned since it spends so much time out of the body. A group of two or more giraffes is called a tower, so you definitely have a tower over here to the right. And like I said before, they're herd animals, so you definitely can see them again. There's a few more here on the right hand side. Now when giraffes are born, they only stand at about six feet tall. Uh, so if you look over on the right hand side here, you'll notice a smaller giraffe just kind of nibbling on the bush there. You can assume that that's a baby giraffe. It's around that height range. It looks like there's going to be one on the left hand side as well. Now when they're born, they stand at about six foot tall and they can usually run and walk within about 30 minutes to an hour after birth. Giraffes also only sleep for about 30 minutes a day and they normally do it standing up. Over on the left hand side here as well is a couple more of the spring box. Now uh, they can reach speeds up to 55 miles an hour and they're the national symbol for South Africa. Yeah, I see them. 
Coming up over here on the right hand side, uh, you'll see a few more of the spring boxes as well as if you look in the palm trees there, you see a few of the Ancoli cattle. And the Ancoli cattle is named after the Watusa oh, tribe that once domesticated them. They're one of the two domesticated animals here on the reserve. Now you would think that their horns would be rather heavy, right? But they're actually not. They're honeycomb like structure on the inside filled with blood vessels that allows them to circulate blood and release heat. Their horns can grow to be up to three to four feet in length, so from tip to tip, they can grow to be up to eight feet long. Might get another view of them here on the right hand side. View of the tusk marks there in the right plate that's a good sign that other elephants might be near. Elephants will often often eat the red clay, kind of like a snack, gives them some vitamins and minerals you might not normally get in their everyday diet. I did spot an elephant off to the left hand side, so we're going to head around and see if we can get a little bit of a closer view. Now, a male elephant will weigh up to around 12,000 pounds, while females will be a little bit smaller at around 7,000 pounds. And elephants can eat up to around 300 pounds of food a day. Elephants there on the left hand side. Now, elephants will often spray sand, dirt, or hay onto their back. This helps them use it like a natural sunblock and help protect mm -hmm. their very sensitive skin. Over on the right hand side, there as well, you'll notice a baobab tree, another one, uh, but it looks a little different. It's got some hole marks in it. That's because Elephants will use the baobab trees as a source of water when resources are scarce. So what they will do is they will puncture a hole into the tree using their tusk. And then they'll use their trunk to siphon water out of the tree. Now elephants are pretty smart and know when to use this resource. So you'll notice on the left hand side there's another baobab tree with almost no hole marks in it. That's because they'll just go ahead and take from the water source that's available to them. Then we have over here on the left hand side, you'll notice a couple of the greater flamingo. The greater flamingo is the lightest shade of pink flamingo in the species. They get their coloring from their diet, a brine shrimp. Now they don't actually form that color until about two or three years of life. So you'll notice in a mix there, there's some smaller gray ones. They are newly hatched and they'll start to form their color over time. Any group of two or more flamingos is called a flamboyance. Nothing's going on over here. Uh, I see rock. No. Uh, the left hand side you'll see a few of the mud pits that white rhinos tend to frequent so definitely keep your eye out for them and the white rhinos are going to be substantially larger than the black rhinos we might have saw over in the cherry forest uh, they're also going to be less solitary so they will live off in herds so definitely keep our eye out for them now just past the mud pits there you're going to see a few of my favorite animals here on the reserve it's the cinnatar horn oryx now, the cinnatar horn oryx is, are mostly found in desert areas they have that white reflective coat to help them reflect the sunlight they actually don't start to sweat until their inner body temperature reaches 115 degrees fahrenheit and they go up to nine months without having to drink water. On the left hand side there, keep your eye out for cheetahs. This is where they tend to hang out. The cheetahs are the fastest land mammals in the world. They can reach speeds up to 70 miles an hour. They can only maintain that high rate of speed for a few hundred yards. Cheetahs will also use their tail kind of like a runner when they run. Helps them change directions quickly since they're moving in such times. The cheetahs just kind of up to that back left corner there. And cheetahs will also normally hunt during the day. This gives them less competition between them and other big cats. Speaking of big cats, up ahead is a kopi, and kopis are where lions tend to live, so definitely keep your eye out for them. Now a group of lions is called a prime, and you can hear lions roar for up to five miles away. This helps them communicate while hunting. 
females will go out and hunt while the males stay back in order to protect the pride. <laughs> Very rare Lions to see will out also here. sleep for around 16 to 20 hours a day. So it's what they spend most of their time doing. Over on the right hand side there, tucked all the way in the back, you might be able to spot a few white rhinos. They're kind of in a little bit of a difficult oh, spot to see. Way um, back you might there. be able to see them again as we come around, but they're kind of just all the way tucked back there. They're in the shade. Now during the day the lions can see the same as you and I can, so they can see pretty well. Uh, but at night their eyesight actually intensifies and they can see up to six times better at night than they do during the day. So they are often more active at night. And there is a male and a female here on the left hand side. We can tell that it's a male because of the mane or the thick fur that is surrounding his head. His mane can actually weigh up to 40 pounds. Just so make sure everyone does stay seated on the seat or on the Sitting down. Thank you. And if you're on the left hand side, I do see a couple of warthog burrows, and there's a few warthogs just above the first burrow there. Now, warthogs oh, yeah. will recycle their burrows. If they find a burrow that no one else is living in, they'll go ahead and take it as their own. And if you're on the right hand side there, uh, might catch a glimpse of those white rhinos. They're really tucked behind the back there. Might get just a little bit of a glimpse. And there is a few uh, ostrich eggs. Now, ostriches are large, flightless birds that can reach speeds up to about 35 miles an hour. Their eggs are actually pretty big and rather sturdy. Just to give you a comparison, one ostrich egg is equal to about 24 chicken eggs. And the average human can actually stand on one ostrich egg without it cracking. So it's often kind of why you just see them laying out and about like we saw over there. Now it looks like we're going to be heading out of the savannah and towards the Magadi Glen. Now this section of our reserve is kind of on the outskirts of the reserve, located a little bit closer towards the village. Yours. Well, this is the Looks section like that they've done by a, a lot of work on now. And the warden does have a few of the domesticated Nigerian dwarf goats. And these goats no. are fully grown at Nigerian. just around two feet tall. They're pretty popular with farmers in the area since they can eat and digest pretty much any type of plant. Farmers will have them graze on certain plots of land they like to grow new crops in. And the goats will provide goat milk and goat cheese to the local villagers, having them rely less on bush beans. So the goats, the humans, and the farmers kind of all work together. Now I think it's safe to say that we will not see any more animals here on our expedition today. All right, guys. So we just finished the last ride here, which yeah, was which you guys got to watch with us. Uh, from here, we're probably going to go get a bit of food, yeah. uh, and then we're going to head to the two shows. The first the first show is still an hour from now, which is the uh, the flight the bird flight show. So we've got about an hour. Let's go eat. We're going to go eat. We're going to tr maybe try that new, well, it's not new. We've never eaten at it before, though, the Harambe Market. Hopefully it's open. It should be open according to the app. We'll see. Oh, and it's 12.34. Yeah, so about an hour. Um, but, yeah. And we're not doing the walking trails. We might do them later. But, but it's not time. really necessary to do right now. Because you can do that on your own pace, your own time. Yeah. We might also do um, Rafiki's Wildlife Reserve we like if we have some time. Um, but other than that, we've but that's it. We, we've hit every ride, guys. And, and it's 1230. Yeah. We've, we did it in, what, three hours? Eight, nine, 10, ten 11, 12. Four hours. Four hours. So, yeah, and if we would have gone to the river ride first, I think we could have cut off almost an hour. Probably. We're at Harambe Market. Harambe Market. And they 
They do mobile order. They do mobile order, and food came pretty fast too when we were here. But they have a very limited selection, unlike yeah. they usually do. So Will got the ribs and rib, chicken. Rib and chicken. I don't see the chicken part. It's underneath the rib. Ah, there it is. And then I got just the chicken. Uh, we've never eaten here before, yeah. so I have no idea what this food is going to be like. We'll see. So far it's a salad, so that's a good thing. Good, bad, in between. Don't eat the salad. It has a kick. Kick but is an understatement. It's like they poured Frank's Red Hot as a salad dressing. Oh no! Alright, well, that's going to be an interesting lunch for me. Alright, so didn't realize how close this was to us, but we're over by the uh, the bird show and we've got like half an hour. So Michelle couldn't really eat her whole meal because it was way too spicy. Oh wow. I guess everybody wanted to go to the bird show. Everybody wanted to do this show. So. <laughs> Um, well, you know, we talked a lot about owls, but one thing I forgot to mention is owls are beneficial because they eat rodents in the wild. So an owl that size by itself could eat over a thousand mice in a single year. Over a thousand. It's pretty amazing. And we, we like it too. We had a rat problem not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, I think they heard about it. So you guys know what happened though, right? So yeah, we were like, ah, there's a rat right there. So the owls flew in and the rats went away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to worry about. The rat problem, it's behind us now. Hey. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Video floss. Nice. Right, right, you know what? Um, rats are really smart. I think we should show off a really smart bird. But what do you think of as some of the smartest birds out there? Uh, the problem solving intelligence would be the Corbett family. Corbett's, the crows, the ravens, those guys. Uh, you guys remember Alexis that was uh, recycling that bottle earlier, right? Yeah. I think we should bring Alexis out. I've been doing some little work with her out here. Do you want to talk a little bit about how we train our birds? Yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, so guys, watch what Corey does. See, he's giving this bird some treats. The treats let him know, whatever you do when you get a treat, all you have to do is do it again, you get another treat. That's kind of the way we communicate. So you see how he's working you know, over there with Corey is where you're working at. What, what are you doing? Hey, Alexis. <laughs> Wait, you just gave him a treat for untying my shoe. That I did. That was amazing. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, these guys do pick up on stuff really quickly, so you have to be careful because if you give him a treat for that, well, odds are he's probably gonna try to do it again to see if he can get another treat, right? Hey, Scott. Yeah. Your uh, shoes are tight. <laughs> Weird. Um, this is no way gonna backfire on us having this type of behavior train, oh, right? No, not at all. All right, I'll, get, I'll, I'll send it back in. Okay, that's probably for the best. Now, these birds are incredibly smart, but your animals at home learn the same way, right? Uh, so think about this. If you have a dog outside your house that's barking, and all of a sudden you open up the door, you might have reinforced that behavior of that door opening that, that actually caused them to bark more often. So that's how you get these problem behaviors you don't want to see happen again. No, no, stay away from my shoes. Cord. We're not practicing this. Okay, so perfect. I'm going to cover them up. My, my shoes are covered. You can't do it. I'm sorry. Whatever. <laughs> that was your microphone cable, yay! <laughs> I figured, have a good day. Okay, let's go that one. Yeah. I figured we'd throw a little bit of a of the show in there for you guys. Uh, mostly because, A, we only have about 15 minutes <laughs> left on our memory card here. And B, because it's it's a nice show. That's you really cute. should try and try to get, get to, to it. see it once. Yeah. There's a lot of birds. Yes. If you're afraid of birds, don't go. Afraid of birds? Whoever's taking you there hates you. <laughs> anyway, um... So, last thing so, now, it's going to be tough to be a bug. Yeah. We've got one show left. Tough to be a bug. That one doesn't have specific times, so it's just... Kind of just go Anytime happens. it's running, you can get in there. But that's it. Other we than doing the Rafiki. Yeah, there's conversa uh, the feet trail. The refri 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 <laughs> there's the walking trails and Rafiki's uh, animal watch. Yeah. Um, both that, of which you can go on they're your own. Fun. Time. They're fun. I wouldn't. I don't feel like putting them into this video because this isn't, those aren't really like. You're not specifically like. Running to get it yeah. done. 
So if you, can, if you can get there, you can get there. I like that we're going the long way to get over to. Uh, yes, I know. I don't know why. <laughs> we we ended up doubling back to Africa, but uh, yeah. So here we go to the last uh, the last area, guys. All right, guys, so we're in the line. For a, a tough to be a bug. Tough to be a bug. Said 25 minutes up top. It is, oh, damn it. It is Michelle's heart rate. <laughs> 201? It's two, okay, so it's a minute after two. Yeah. Watch the popcorn. Somebody decided to Keep devastate first. the landscape by popcorn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is literally the last Last thing. thing guys i know we keep saying it but it's it, it's funny we've made i think we counted we have at least three mistakes that we made and we still managed to finish this park in four hours i was going to say we took three bathroom breaks two food breaks and we went on the we went the long way to get here and we kind of could have been a little bit more optimal on which rides we go first yeah. but anybody who's insisting you don't have enough time to get onto everything here is a liar yep all right so 25 minutes all right so we just got to the uh inside area where we're waiting. And it's 2.20. So it, it was a little under 20 minutes to get here. So it's kind of cool the um, sheer amount of animals that are... Yep. Thank you, sir. It's really interesting the number of animals that they have on the tree that you can see from going through the area. And we skipped a lot of it. We weren't even counting or paying attention. And next thing we know, we're like, oh boy. Yeah, and then we're like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at this animal. It was nice that we actually knew what they were, too. Yeah, a lot of them were very detailed. Yeah. That, that was the last show. And yep. what was it? We said it was only like 20 minutes to get there. Yeah. So, if nothing else, right 2.40, there's still like four hours left, three hours left of uh, the until the park itself. closes. Yeah. But I think we're gonna call it a day. We did everything. Yeah. Um, so. so we'll give you final thoughts and everything in the car. Yeah. All right, we made it back to safety where it's the car. Michelle's eating ice because yes. she's hot and sweaty. It's very disgusting. Well, the car doesn't I'm help. sweaty too. It's hot in here. It is. It is 3.15, you can't read that, but Believe me, it says 315. Yours is better. Three, no, it's just, there we go, 316. Anyway, so we got here a little bef a little after eight, like literally five minutes after eight. Yes, literally. And we got out of here at 315. And that's from walking from, basically from the car in the morning to the car now. Yeah. Uh, so what is that? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one two three that's seven Se hours seven hours yeah so and the park closes at five yeah so we spent seven hours at the park open to now yeah and honestly we could have been out of there by about 2 30. but we didn't we didn't plan it correctly well we didn't plan it and also we stopped for uh, food, well, no, we stopped bathroom. for the restroom. Otherwise, we'd be out of here probably by two fifteen. Yeah. Um. But so, yeah, so that's it. That was literally every ride and every attraction. Every ride was done by what? Two thirty. Uh, twelve. No, no every I'm, ride twelve o'clock, twelve fifteen. Uh, yeah. Um, and the shows, the two shows they have currently took us an extra maybe two hours because of how long each show is yeah and the bird show was about a half an hour it started at 1 30 so by the time we got done it was two o'clock by the time we head over to tough to be a bug it was like maybe 1 40 no 2 15, 15 or so and then the tough to be a bug was about a 25 minute wait so by 
2 30 3 yeah, o'clock almost three o'clock by three the time we left um you'll see all the numbers that actually make sense down below or in the, in the editing um but yeah that will do it for today guys thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time this is wandering shell and ronan will later bye